Yeah, at Penguin Terminal asked, uh, first question, where do you guys get your tech slash privacy news? Like what sites or sources do you recommend? Um, I think I've talked about this in the past. I use an RSS feed for pretty much everything. So uh, like I get Slashdot on there. I get individual blogs from like the Brave blog, the EFF blog, the Tor blog, Signal blog, like all of them are in there. IVPN, Mulvad, pretty much every main service out there. If they have a blog, it's in my RSS feed. Um, our forum lately has just been also a phenomenal place for me to get news. I'd say like half the news I'm getting comes from our forum um, because we have like a whole news tag and you can follow that via RSS. You can follow anything on our forum without an account via RSS by just adding .rss at the end. So it's it's really awesome. Um, so yeah, RSS is kind of my, my bestie. <laughs> you? Yeah, all of that stuff. I recently set up uh, an RSS reader. Um, you did? Finally, like, got everything organized. Oh, that's that's big so news. How do you like it? Been using that lately. Yeah, it's been it's been good. Um, keeping up with stuff a bit better. I've been yeah, uh, pr pretty much all the same sources that you have. I think so. It's probably not anything out of the ordinary. And then um, Techboard Forum, Privacy Guides Forum, that kind of thing. And the other thing that I do to follow this kind of stuff is on Mastodon. I follow a lot of. Uh, I, I follow a lot of like tech journalists and like infosec security professionals who aren't like in the privacy community. I try and follow people in the tech sphere outside of this. And then that way, like if I hear a lot of people talking about a story like that I've heard about, for example, um, usually it happens like a bit later. Or sometimes it'll happen at the same time. But like if if the story makes like makes it into that sphere, I know it's a broader tech issue, and that's like more people are talking about it than just than just the people here because sometimes i think we get a lot of stories that not a lot of people outside of the privacy community care about but it's good to know like when other people do that kind of thing yeah someone in the live chat just said i've been thinking about using an rss feed and honestly for me it's game changing i'm curious to hear your your like experiences with it as time goes on because you you this is your first time using an rss feed right like long term i mean yeah uh trying to anyways yeah it's, it's good it's definitely like a big flow of information and I, I do like I like to keep the noise down a bit, so it's been a bit annoying. I've been trying to tune it basically to right. get like what I want to read and not not stuff that I don't want to read. But we'll see. I'm using a I don't know what RSS reader that you use, but I use one called Mini Flux, um, which is like a self-hosted web-based oh. one. Oh, that sounds cool. So I use Reader yeah. R E E D E R. It's fantastic. Also, I will say if you don't like RSS. Like, just to everyone, but also to you, Jonah. Try a different client, mm -hmm. too. Like, the client can really make or break your RSS experience. So if it feels overwhelming, then you might not have a great client, to be honest, because the RSS client should have features and settings and stuff built in to make things feel yeah. manageable. So 